chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in this tutorial we shall discuss important formulas for the equilateral and isosceles triangles we shall take up the formulas for the perimeter height and area of an equilateral triangle let us suppose this is an equilateral triangle a b c and let us also suppose that the length of each side is equal to a units an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all the sides are equal the perimeter of this triangle let us first of all write the formula for the perimeter of an equilateral triangle the perimeter of an equilateral triangle will be equal to the sum of the sides of the triangle it has three sides and all the sides are equal to a so the perimeter will be equal to 3a we can similarly write a formula for the height of the equilateral triangle let us draw a perpendicular from the vertex a to the side bc and let the length of this perpendicular be equal to h and we know that the angle of an equilateral triangle is equal to 60 degrees so we can immediately write that the height of an equilateral triangle can be written as equal to a times a times sin of 60 degrees why because this triangle this triangle is a right angle triangle and from the basic trigonometric ratios we can see that height this perpendicular will be equal to hypotenuse a into sin of this angle 60 degrees and we already know that sin of 60 degrees is equal to square root of 3 by 2 therefore h can be written as equal to square root of 3 by 2 into a you can either remember this formula or you can derive it just in time like i have done by the shortcut of using trigonometry it is also possible to derive the same value of the height by using pythagoras theorem but i have given a shorter method so that you can use it in the exam to derive it just in time some people are unable to remember the formulas for them i am also giving these proofs side by side so that you can easily obtain the formula just in time let us also write the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle we can write area is equal to the area we know is equal to half of the base this is the base and its value is equal to a so we can write it is equal to half of the base multiplied by the height this height and this height we have already derived equal to 3 square root by 2a so we can write it is equal to square root of 3 into a 
so we can write area a is equal to we can now collect these terms is equal to square root of 3 a into a will be a square and by 2 into 2 will make it 4. So these are the three formulas that I have listed. This is formula 1, this is formula 2 and this is the formula number 3. You can either remember them or derive them just in time. You should be always in touch with the perimeter is equal to 3a, height is equal to square root of 3 into a by 2 and area is square root of 3 into a square by 4. Let us take our next formula now. Now I will write the formula for the in radius of a general triangle. This will apply to all triangles. Why I am writing here is that I missed and forgot this when I was taking the tutorial on general triangles. So I am writing this here so that we can use it for equilateral triangle also and general triangle will also be covered. Let us suppose this is any triangle with vertex A, B, C. A circle that is completely contained inside the triangle. This circle is called, this circle is called the in circle. In circle and the center of this circle the center of this circle is called the in center we have discussed it a number of times in our previous videos the radius of this circle r is called the in radius and if the sides of this triangle are A, B and C, then we can find out the relation between R and the sides of the triangle. The relation is that R is equal to the square root of S minus A into S minus B into S minus C by S where S is equal to A plus B plus C by 2 the semi perimeter. This is the relation between the in center and the three sides ABC of a triangle. We can easily prove this formula so that in case you have difficulty remembering this formula, you can derive it just in time. We proved earlier, I will write we proved earlier that the area of a triangle is equal to the radius r into the semi perimeter. This we proved in our previous video. I have given a proof of this formula that the area of the triangle is known to be the product of the in radius and the semi perimeter. This is one thing. Next is we know the formula for the area of a triangle by the Heron's formula. So we can write equating with 
with Hero's formula, what we get is that R into S should be equal to the square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. This we have already seen for the Heron's formula. Now we can easily see that R should be equal to you take S down. When you take S down, this upper square root of S will be removed from the numerator and it will move to the denominator. So we will be able to write square root of S minus A into S minus B into S minus C by S. This proves the formula. You should remember this result because there are questions many times that require you to use this result for solving them. And you should also remember that area is equal to the in radius multiplied by the semi perimeter. I have already discussed this and told you that questions have been there in the previous year's papers for this formula. Let us move to our next formula now. Let us now write the formula for the in radius of an equilateral triangle and also the area of an equilateral triangle in terms of in radius. Although you can easily do this if you know the in radius of a general triangle that I have already done and also the area and relation the relation between the area and in radius of a general triangle I have already taken. You can use those also and now I will give them specifically for the case of an equilateral triangle so that you can remember them or derive them whenever it is required. Let A, B, C be an equilateral triangle. This side is A, this side is also A and because of the general symmetry of an equilateral triangle, we can say that this point Bx is equal to A by 2 and the remaining will obviously be equal to A by 2 because of the general symmetries and we can even prove geometrically also that if the in radius center point it comes to meet the side BC at point X then X will be the perpendicular bisector of the side BC. So BX will be equal to A by 2. Let us mark this in radius as R and I will now join this B to R and again from the general symmetries and we can even prove that this angle will be equal to 30 degrees. Let this in center be marked as O. So in triangle OBX we can apply the basic trigonometry that radius will be equal to the base BX bx into tan of this angle 30 degrees. 
the basic trigonometry applied to this perpendicular and this base portion with this angle theta equal to 30 degrees. So, we can write will be equal to tan of 30 degrees or we can write since base is this half portion, so it will be written as A by 2 multiplied by tan of 30 is known to be 1 by square root of 3. So, which implies the in radius is equal to A by 2 square root of 3 for an equilateral triangle. This is one formula that you can keep in your mind. Now, I will derive another formula. We can write radius is equal to a by 2 square root of 3 into square root of 3 by square root of 3 by rationalization which is equal to we can write it equal to this square root of 3 into square root of 3 becomes 3. So, we can just filter it out 1 by 3 multiplied by square root of 3 a by 2. This is what we can write. This square root of 3 and a move in the numerator. This 2 comes to the denominator and square root of 3 into square root of 3 are taken out as 1 by 3 and which we can say that I will write it in the next line which implies r can be written as if you can see it this will be 1 by 3 into height of the triangle. This square root of 3 a by 2 was proved equal to height. So, we can see that in center and in radius is equal to one third of the height of the equilateral triangle. This is the second useful result. Now, let us side by side obtain the area also. We know that area is equal to the in radius multiplied by the semi perimeter, which we can condense into R into what is the semi perimeter? Perimeter is 3A and the semi perimeter will be 3A by 2, which we can write as R into 3 by 2 into A. I have just moved A out, which is equal to R into 3 by 2 into this A now can be put from the equation 1 that is it is equal to 2 square root of 3 multiplied by R. We can write 2 square root of 3 into R. So, we can now condense it. This 2 and this 2 can be removed and we get area is equal to this is 3 square root of 3 into r square. So, this is the third useful formula. We have in radius is a by 2 square root of 3 and in radius is one third of the height and area is equal to 3 square root of 3 into r square. There are various ways of casting this area. We have used 
This formula R into S for obtaining a relation between A and capital R. We had this A here and we substituted this A to from equation 1 and we were able to establish a relation between the area and the in radius of an equilateral triangle. These three apply to an equilateral triangle. So, you can remember or derive them just in time. Let us move to our next formula. Now, we take